Hello, everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. As we gather here today, we stand with the hundreds of courageous women and men fighting wildfires across the country. We stand with the communities who've been evacuated and with people from coast to coast to coast who are enduring this painful, heartbreaking time. Here today with Ministers Blair, Wilkinson, Gould, Gilbo, Fraser, and, and Vandal to talk about the federal response to the devastating wildfires we're seeing across the country. Minister Wilkinson will have more detail in a moment, but our modeling shows that this may be an especially severe wildfire season throughout the summer. We're going to get through this together, and our government will keep being there with whatever it takes to keep people safe and provide support. Two weeks ago, I went to Edmonton and spoke with the Canadian Armed Forces members who are helping in Alberta's firefight. I also met with many people from communities that had been evacuated. Some of them had only a few hours to pack. They were told to bring pets, important documentation, medication, and that's it. This is a scary time for a lot of people, not just in Alberta, but right across the country, including in the Atlantic, the North, and Quebec, too. I think of people like Catherine in Nova Scotia. Even though she's lost her home, she found time to get help to her friend, who's also affected and didn't want to be alone to see what was left of her own place. When people lose their homes, they don't just lose a roof and their processions. They lose a special place where they saw their children grow up, where they built a life for themselves. This is incredibly difficult and heartbreaking. The Canadians will continue to be there for you and with you. In the last week, I've spoken with Mayor Savage of Halifax, Mayor Locke of Shelburne, and Premier Houston, as well as with Premier Smith and other local leaders. Il y a deux jours, j'ai parlé avec le Premier ministre Legault de la situation des feux de forêt au Québec. J'ai aussi parlé avec le maire de cette île, Steve Beaupré, la mairesse de Chapet, Isabelle Lessard, et le chef de Ouachat Makmani Outnetam, Mike McKenzie. On a parlé de la situation sur le terrain. Comme vous le savez, des membres des forces armées sont déjà déployés pour aider. Il y a plusieurs feux qui sont imprévisibles, donc c'est très important d'écouter les autorités locales pour s'assurer que tout le monde reste en sécurité. Like I said, our government is here to help. So far, we've approved three requests for federal assistance in Alberta, in Nova Scotia, and in Quebec. This includes deploying Canadian Armed Forces members for things like personnel to aid in firefighting roles, airlift resources, and engineering support. Minister Blair will go into more detail about the status of this work in a moment on what we're doing to keep people safe right now. Year after year, with climate change, we're seeing more and more intense wildfires and in places where they don't normally happen. That's why we've invested to train more community-based firefighters across the country. For example, we've worked with the Yukon First Nations Wildfire Partnership to train 130 wildland firefighters in Yukon and northern British Columbia. In Newfoundland and Labrador, we partnered with the Innu Nation to train community members. In Manitoba, in Ontario, and in many other places, our support allowed more firefighters to be trained. And last week, we announced that through the Wildfire Training Fund, we're supporting over 300 Indigenous firefighters and 125 Indigenous fire guardians to be hired and trained this season. À travers le Centre Interservice des Feux de Forêt du Canada, on coordonne nos efforts avec d'autres pays pour lutter contre les feux de forêt ici et à travers le monde. Par exemple, dans le passé, on a envoyé des pompiers canadiens pour prêter main forte aux pompiers dans d'autres pays comme aux États-Unis et en Australie. Et comme on fait face à des feux très intenses chez nous cette année, on reçoit des centaines de pompiers d'autres pays pour soutenir nos efforts. Specifically, I want to thank US, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and France for the firefighters they've already sent and will continue to send over the coming days and weeks. And on top of that, we're engaging further with other international partners about more reinforcements over the coming weeks. Before I end, I know there's a lot of Canadians who are asking how they can help too. 
The federal government and the government of Alberta are coordinating a donation matching program with the Canadian Red Cross 2023 Alberta Fires Appeal. So every dollar donated will become $3 in support to those affected by wildfire in Alberta. And as announced last week, we will set up similar donation matching programs to help people in the Northwest Territories and in Nova Scotia. This is a difficult time for many Canadians. If you have friends or family members who are affected, it's important to continue being there for one another. I want to thank the volunteers, first responders, CAF members, and of course, the firefighters who are doing their work like the true professionals they are. I know that firefighters are often away from their family. I was talking with the CDS, the Chief of Defence Staff, about how some CAF members are personally affected by fires. Some have had their homes damaged, some have seen their families evacuated. But despite all of this, they continue to step up to help and protect others. Thank you. To all Canadians, let's continue supporting our firefighters by listening to local authorities. And across the board, whether it's with members of the armed forces, to Parks Canada resources, to firefighters and equipment, the Coast Guard, Health Canada, and the Service Canada support, which Minister Gould will speak about shortly, our government is standing up support to keep people safe today and for wildfire seasons to come.